can't beat a good bonfire at dawn. Hey, eh? absolutely beautiful up here today. One big reason is because no buggers here. That to me is perfect. Hello. It's me. It's been a while, isn't it? June, I think my last video was, but you know reason for that was because <clears throat> I'd filmed a load of footage I think July was my last video I filmed a load of footage and just lost it all and I was like ah can't bother anymore uh, so I apologize for that sorry I'm dripping it's cold it's snowing I don't know if you can see that in the air right now and I'm at the allotment hey okay? got a cheeky little bonfire going and uh, yeah it's a good start to the new year so with that in mind I am going to try and keep on top of the videos, hopefully, with uh, tech playing ball. We'll, we'll be okay. I've got ice on my bum now. I've sat there. Should have sat there. I got up before, got up here before dawn, wherever she is. She must have a plot next door or something. Started a little bonfire. So, last time I came up here, I harvested my carrots, which were, I sort of just took a, bit, a photo because I was sick of uh, um, trying to edit video footage and that was probably November early November so yeah I thought I'd uh, got everything thought I'd harvested everything up and um, when I popped up my sprouts look at me sprouts look how good they are the, the rabbits did a lot of the hard work by uh, chewing off the the tops um they, they kind of them so yeah it's kind of uh all systems go again i need to get a new uh polytunnel sheet for my uh polytunnel um i'll show you because that one's bit the bullet now pretty much Let's have a look in here um as you can see all these little plastic squares uh all over the floor i don't know this is my first venture into polytunnels and um, I don't think I'd go for one of these again. It's cheap and it lasted about two years. Um, I did take it down last autumn before the winds kicked in and um, put it up again in the spring. But as the season went on, it just, all these little bits, all these squares and stuff just started to fall out. So it's useless, but very well irrigated when it rains you don't have to come up and water your polytunnel but again i don't know who made these but these you can see these everywhere uh, you know online if you google polytunnels and these are definitely the ones in the more affordable bracket aren't they they're about eight, i think i paid 80 pounds for this which is again the steel and all this is good but the actual sheet itself i don't know what garrett the sort of what lifespan they said they probably they always say five years don't they but two and i'd say one at a push because the second year was it was just full of holes and you can see snow coming in there so i'm gonna get some proper um polytunnel uh polythene and uh try and build a frame at the end here so i can fit a little, little doorway in or something and uh so that's the next big job and i need a new shed because it's just rotten there uh, i haven't looked after that and uh and then it's all systems go again, pretty much. A mate of mine just came up and went, isn't it really disheartening? Oh, what do you mean? Is that like you have to do it all over again? Well, that's gardening, isn't it? You, you do it, and then you do it again. And you do it better, if you can. Such a beautiful start to the day. And uh, I've kind of fell, in, fell back in love with the place again, because I I stopped coming up, like I say, like my last... Last time I caught it was in November, at the, like the end of October, start of November. And one of the reasons I, I stopped, because I harvested everything, that's the reason why I stopped coming up, apart from those sprouts, obviously. A little surprise sprout. Um, but I'd harvested everything, and then I'm bored. You know what I mean? I, was, I, was, <laughs> I kind of switched off because it was so busy up here as well. But, uh, I think because of lockdown, there's been a massive spike in allotments and um, allotment holders and people putting application forms and whatnot. And, um, yeah, so trying to do videos while there's 
everyone everywhere you just feel a bit of an idiot like just talking to your phone and that and you know then you have to explain oh, i've got a youtube video maybe that's what i should do so i get more viewers more subscribers don't forget to do that like subscribe boring in it january what do you want from me huh is that what we're doing dig do we dig the frozen soil i ain't gonna do that i'm gonna wait until about february or march whenever the when it's soft should have done it i probably should have done it in um in the autumn but that's when you should do it technically but like i said i won't come up it's cold i don't know why i've come up today it's freezing now i just have to do all the hard work in march and april these sprout plants were eaten by uh, rabbits so i kind of just left them and didn't really nurture them or do anything to them and persistent sprouts I'll give you that Oh, those little tiny little florets, oh, yum, yum, yum. Little tiny ones. Look at this fella. He's got one massive one. And uh, not much else going on. But yeah. So you can be uh, fairly rough with sprouts by the look of it. And they, uh, they'll bounce back. And they'll bounce back a little bit. So that's good. Well, it's starting to snow a little bit today. I don't know if you can see the flecks in the air. So that's the pond. The pond's all iced over right now. No room for froggies. This is the bed I had my uh, French beans in. Um, we've got a mouse over there or something. As you can see, it's um, snowing. Right. I'm not the allotment, <clears throat> uh, obviously. Uh, Roads are a bit mad, so staying away today. But I am going to continue with these videos. So um, starting them in January probably wasn't the best idea. Probably should have waited until April or something. But you know, I'm eager. Um, you've seen the plot. You've had a little plot tour of what's uh, what you could see underneath the snow. But it's not going to get any better. Uh, I think next week it's going to rain, so it's obviously going to get a little bit warmer. Then I can get on with uh, prepping the beds for, you know, for, for the spring and summer. Um, so, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please do so. Uh, uh, you can hit the bell. Is that, is that it? And uh, that'll alert you when I've uh, uploaded any new content. Um, so, yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.